I'm the citizen's infringement officer. Okay. I'm giving you a ticket for being an obnoxious tool. <laughs> All right. What's that? License plates. Yeah, what's it say? NSX GT. What sort of car is this? Yeah, Honda NSX. you're a wanker, mate. That's $100. <laughs> Just checking uh, ringtones today. Got to check that oh. your ringtone's OK. Listen to this. What are you thinking? He's on the bus and train. His phone calls are a pain. He's Clive, the slightly too loud computer. Oh, hello. Is that Dr. Beatty? It's Clive. Listen, I've been through about 50 of those little containers you gave me for my sperm sample. Yeah, but I keep missing the cup. Well, I can't predict the force of the ejaculate. Well, my mate came over last night to help me out, and it hit him in the eye. Wouldn't spam products attract more customers with a more personal sales approach, like going around door to door? Hello, madam. How are you? We're from Westpac uh, Internet Banking. We're doing an upgrade on our website. We just need your login and your password, just for security purposes. If you can get into the peel, then you must be gay. So what better place to get a definitive ruling on someone whose sexuality has been controversial for many years? Two inches, two inches of underwear, that's above the wanker limit. <laughs> we don't have any tattoos in this part of town. All right, we're cracking down on it. It's, it's graffiti. I mean, it's all right for you, you don't have to look at it. I've got to look at that. You don't want to give me your password? You won't be? Oh, so how are you? Can I interest you in a website of horny teen sluts? We're helping the Australian Defence Forces recruit today. Would you be interested in joining the military? If you did die, um, we'd look after your body or a body that was in the morgue with you at the same time. <laughs> Guaranteed. Oh, Would you like to do a free gullibility test today, sir? We're just conducting a gullibility test. Right. Um, and you're doing very well already, actually, yeah. so well done. Um, I'm just going to read you a few statements. You don't have to actually believe them, but if you could believe them, just give us a yes. Okay. okay. Scientology lets you attain several different states of existence in just one lifetime. No. Could you believe that it's a coincidence that a famous science fiction writer also invented a completely true religion involving aliens and spacecraft? That's a tough one. Oh, that's... You don't, you don't have to believe it now. Do you think oh, you're cool. of believing it? Oh, look, I could believe anything. Which bank are you with? <laughs> it's none of your business. Well, because we're also doing an upgrade for them. You don't want to give us a call for them. I can't help you out with your short penis with some herbal remedies or anything like that. We're just uh, booking uh, wanker number plates. You got BMW I25. <laughs> Sorry, that's a try hard number plate, mate. <laughs> we didn't need to be told it was a BMW. That is a $100 fine. The Defence Force recruitment campaign's not going so well, so we're introducing conscription. You're off to Iraq. Go, then. Fatigues, helmet, body bag. Get back in the truck. Thanks, mate. Off you go. You're going to do it training or anything first? You don't need any training to be cannon fodder. Don't worry about that sign, it's just for technical reasons. Here you go. Got your one-way ticket. Just one way? Just one way. It's all you'll need. Into the back of the truck. There we go. See you in Baghdad. Designers of Australian Fashion Week have been accused of an Anglo-centric bias in their new spring collections. So we took a few samples along to Fashion Week to see just how much interest there could be in cutting-edge Islamic wear. Islamic fashions this spring, anyone? Ladies and gentlemen, no? Anyone interested in buying the Versace hijab, anyone? What do you think, madam? Which do you prefer, the Versace or the distressed denim? Personally, I like the distressed denim. Hey, sis, it's your favourite brother, Clive. How are you going? Look, you still arrived for this thing tonight? Yeah, no, 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 Mum wants to die. <laughs> No, it's for her own good. She is a burden, if that's what she says. But it'll be totally easy. We'll get her very drunk so she can't struggle and stick a pillow in her face. Oh, don't be a soft cock. You'll get half the house. Would anyone be so stupid as to fall for it again? Would anybody let a Trojan horse through their gates today? <laughs> Take 
the charge in horse then? Can we just leave it here overnight? You're going to pick up tomorrow morning again, are you? Yeah, pick it up tomorrow morning. Right, on the left hand side up the next door, point car. Right now, dead people's souls are flying around and clinging to you, and that's what's causing everything that goes wrong in your life. <laughs> totally. Not everything, but yeah, I do believe. Some of the. Okay, good. What's this? Teardrop. Teardrop. Well, you'll be crying now, my friend, because that is $200. Don't even get me started on the dragon. All right. They're actually ridiculously high slung. High pants. That's actually a hazard to your health, you realise that? Can you breathe all right? You sure? No, I don't know. Is your laundry too bright and cheerful? Then wash your clothes in emo. The darkness molecules in Emo attack the fabric, depressing your clothes and bringing out those blacks. Emo shrank my clothes so they fit really awkwardly. It makes me feel disaffected. Oh. For best results, use tears instead of water. Emo. End stains, end your life. I happen to be the cousin of the president of Nigeria. He's trying to get $40 million out of the country at the moment due to the political strife. Uh, if you give me your banking details, then possibly you'll get 10% of that $40 million. It's 100% guarantee. You want to know why I'm giving you a, a fine? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's have a listen. <laughs> That's why. Right. That is not a good feature. Change that tone immediately. Is it any lull before? Yeah, well, look, we're just trying to cut down on people who have annoying ringtones. Yeah. If you've chosen a decent ringtone, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be in this situation. You're mm -hmm. the one who's made the choice. Hey, hey, hey. Stop right there. That's a joke. Well, I'll tell you what a joke is. Having pants that should go up to your hips and that are halfway down your ass. It's a free world, dude. Well, it's not a free world now, it's a $75 world. Hello, is that Dr. Beatty? It's Clive. Yeah, look, I wanted to ask you a question. Is there any such thing as herpes of the elbow? Well, I've got a number of scabby pustules on my elbow. Well, I got a bit rambunctious on the weekend and I accidentally elbowed my wife in the vagina. It doesn't exist, you reckon? Did it seem five million years ago the earth was... Don't believe that? No. Could you believe that? No. No, with intensive therapy, some courses, oh, maybe a few donations. Maybe, I suppose, Possibly. if I had enough invested in it, okay. yeah, maybe. All right, well, you will have enough invested in it, don't worry. <laughs> 75 million years ago, Xenu froze hundreds of billions of people and dropped them into volcanoes on Earth before blowing them up with hydrogen bombs. Jeez, that's a bit harsh, but yeah, I can do that. We just uh, got this uh, Trojan horse. Can we leave it here for the night? Inside. What do you mean? I'm sure there's no one inside. Why would there be anyone inside? Can, can we just leave it here at the barracks for the night? I, I had no idea he was in there. I had no idea. Pulp one. Both pretentious and confusing. That, my friend, is a hundred dollar fine. I'm giving you a ticket for driving a Volvo. But have we learnt from our mistake? Would anyone of a religious faith be so foolish? as to accept some fruit from a serpent today. Fuck an apple, madam. Best tree in the garden. There you go. If we're running short, why not pass off other famous landmarks as our own? I mean, would the Americans really know any different? Ambassador Charles Firth hit the streets of the US to sell our country proud. I don't know the name of it, so... It's called the Sydney Opera House. Opera House. Do you know where it is? No, I don't. That was in Nemo. Yes, that's right. I have no idea what it's called, though. What about mature ladies that never quit? <laughs> no, 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 that is the... Oh, hello, madam. Can I interest you in a penis enlargement? <laughs> you sure? As you can see, they're not exactly on a state of height and alert at the Harbour Bridge. It even goes straight to the security camera here and films it. Too easy. <laughs> Too easy. Still, after 14 minutes, not a guard in sight. But what happens if someone dressed slightly differently starts snooping around? <laughs> Only a nine of tweaking appearance, and what do you know? Oh. There's security. Hey, how are you? Oh, oh, 
just taking some shots at the bridge. Oh, I'm just a, just a bridge enthusiast. I love bridges. This is a great bridge. Just want to take some photos? Yeah, I'm right, do you? No, no, what are you up to, bro? Would you like an apple? Yes, get you get one for your husband. That's what Eve did. Why not? Uh, how much are you charging for the apple? Free. 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 What are you advertising? Nothing. Some George Bankers office. You must be advertising something. Can't okay. a guy be a serpent at giving out apples and not be expected of doing something wrong? That's good. What about this one? That looks like the Leaning Tower of Pizza in Italy. That's right, but what most people don't know is that it is actually in Australia. Oh, so that is the one in Australia? That's the one in Australia. Oh, okay. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is the replica. This is the Leaning Tower of Perth. Really? Yeah. It's a $50 fine. <laughs> right, you can pay that either in cash now or uh, by credit card. There we go. <laughs> What is this? Is that a naked woman? That's an obscene tattoo. It's a hundred dollar phone. Is it? Yep. Now, I want you to either get rid of that or at least put some clothes on her, all right? Introducing the all-new J.I. Extreme, the ultimate in car bombing luxury. With six cylinders of explosive power. Zero to a hundred victims in under five seconds. With suicide belt technology, twin fertilizer airbags, and JIPS navigation to help you conquer the toughest infidel terrain. The JI Extreme, pure suicide bombing pleasure. This is Adelaide's most famous landmark. Okay, I didn't know that. I haven't showed you how ignorant I am. What about this? I don't know the name of it, but it looks familiar. Is it a tower? What is it? Yep, if I mention the City of Love, um, does that ring a bell? Uh, um, Paris? No, Melbourne. Um, uh, Melbourne. Melbourne. Uh, yeah. So you would travel all the way to Melbourne. To see the Eiffel Tower, just for that, I sure would. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. It's the Taj Mahal, have you the heard Taj of it? The Taj Mahal. Yeah, g'day, it's Clive. Mate, uh, I've got some uh, packages for you. I've got some, uh, it's about three kilos worth of ice. You yeah, know, not, not party ice, ice, the drugs. I've also got the cocaine. No, ecstasy you want. Jeez. Hang on a sec. Sorry, mate. Do you want? Can I just, I just hold those for a second? Sorry, mate. Sorry, mate. Yeah. Hang on. It might be in the bottom pocket. If it's anywhere. Oh, sh oh Jesus. Sorry. Sorry, doll. What's the best way to solve the problem in Iraq? Convert them to Christianity? Convert them to Judaism? Or convert them to ash? Ash. 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 If conscription became necessary to win, though, in Iraq. Which group of citizens should America recruit first into the US Army? The homeless, troubled black youths, or orphans? Well, I'd give a shot to the uh, troubled black youths. Maybe they would get to play love in there. The homeless, I guess. Why? Just because they're not really doing anything anyway. It's a bit conservative. Very yeah. conservative. Oh, that's not good at all. Conservative <laughs> ring tone. <laughs> Dollar fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Uh, play that. In fact, you can play it directly to Peter Costello, right? <laughs> now that Saddam Hussein is gone, do you support the proposal for his body doubles to be executed too? Absolutely. Because they look guilty? The hell with him and everybody who looks like him. It's called the Great Wall of China. Okay. I wanted to say that, but, you know, by being Australia, I didn't... But yeah. No, no, but it is in Australia. It's, oh, it's in, okay. It, China is a town just outside Darwin. Oh. Yeah, you recognise that? Yeah, that was in the United States. That's a copy. Oh. Australia has the original. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Now, to make this fully scientific, we do need to check your reading on the BS meter. We're testing whether you're true, gullible or James Packer. Now, the James Packer is not a reference to Scientology, that's just a reference to one tell, actually. How does it feel to you? Does it, it's okay. Does it feel scientific? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. scientific enough? Yes. Would you like to take a test? No, that's fine. No, thanks. it's free. <laughs> no. I'm the official from the church, so... Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. All right. Well, uh, if we get any people who pass, we'll send them in, eh? There you go. OK. <laughs> if you only had a few days in Australia, mm -hmm. where would you go? Oh, you um, Mount Rushmore, then down. Um, Victoria, Taj Mahal, and then the Great Wall. The Big Ben and that place, that. You don't have the railroad. Trans-Siberian Railroad. Yeah. <laughs> So the Taj Mahal to Big Ben, then I'll go to the Eiffel Tower, and yeah. then I'll end up here. So we have to have five days, because I'm going to Mount Rushmore. <laughs> oh, <fantastic. laughs> if you believe that, you're actually too gullible for the government. <laughs> so you've done well.